Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. If you're new here, I'd like to say a warm welcome. If you do enjoy these videos, obviously give them a like and consider subscribing. I typically release a video every day and it's usually about Warhammer. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you members that support the channel really helps the channel out and uh, everyone that uses the Element Games affiliate link. Um, if you click the link there, uh, you can save yourself 20% off your Warhammer and it supports the channel uh, as well. So uh, let's get into the news right here on the Warhammer community uh, website. If we go back a week ago to the 2nd of September, uh, about here. So we had a couple of pre-orders from Black Library, uh, this Word Bearers box set collection that was literally uh, sold out um, within about three minutes. Um, so yeah, um, look, looks absolutely gorgeous, but <laughs> as all limited editions, they do get sold out. Um, then we had The Rose in Darkness uh, by Danny Ware. Uh, I've started to stop buying hardbacks um, from Black Library. Uh, one because of the price because they're 20 pounds um, but mainly because of the quality like the paper quality has just been atrocious um, compared to other publishers um, and all these books are made in China uh, so and the thing is they can make some good quality books like the Siege of Terror books um, which I don't mind paying sort of 18 20 pound for uh, but the standard novels uh, they're just not doing it for me. So I'm going to wait until they uh, start considering releasing paperback at the same time. Um, as I always say, if you're not happy with something, vote with your wallet. Like, um, you know, you're in control of um, how much you spend and things. Uh, Blackstone Fortress, however, that was in paperback. Um, so that's great. Got the Tyranid Invasion and then a couple of books in different languages. Up for pre-order. Uh... We had a lot to pre-order uh, last weekend. Um, I'm, it basically broke me. Uh, and whenever Games Workshop do this, it triggers me to uh, to say things about it and communicate it to you. And um, I just disagree with Games Workshop completely in releasing every single new release on one day. They should stagger it. There were weeks past, few weeks, where it was very quiet. They could have released a codex and a model next week, a couple of box sets. No, they go all in, which is a lot of pressure uh, for, well, people to cover new content, um, but also for collectors as well. Uh, you know, you. I find that it will help getting into the mindset of training your brain that these things, these models will be around for years and years and years and if you can um win that fight uh, with yourself i guess and um kind of come to the realization that these are not going anywhere there's no fear of missing out um the only thing that will prevent you getting to that conclusion really is that games workshop up their prices every year so if you don't pick all of these models up within the year you're gonna have to pay a bit more next year but they're not going to disappear. They are going to be around. So there is that. Um, you can pre-order the uh, Codex, of course. Codexes are now £35, which is an absolute... Well, it, it's very expensive now. So, you, you know, with the rules being free, you've really got to sum up whether uh, these are like your main armies and whether or not the content in these books are, are just copy and paste or rearranged um, from the past, you know, three editions at least. Um, you could get the special edition or, you know, the collector's edition. Um, not a fan at all of that. You know, most of the cover isn't even like the artwork. It's, yeah, that's... It, if the other collector's editions are going to be like this, then I'm out. I, I don't... It doesn't appeal to me. Um, the Norn Emissary looks great, but I think it's going to be smaller than people people think. Um, it's a dual build kit, so you could build the Norn Assimilator instead. You've got the Death Leaper. I think that's what you see is what you get. But the Lictor does have a few um, poses and things. The Neuro Lictor, I think that's just a single pose. And then you've got the Gene Stealers updated. 
don't look too bad. We've got the Termagants, which I think are just the uh, easy to build kit from the Leviathan box set, but with extra uh, weapon sprues. We'll see. You've got the Hormagaunts. Um, they've been needing a, uh, a refresh for a while. To be fair though, they look a little bit like Termagants rather than their own thing. Um, the Biovores and Pyrovores look, look fantastic. You've then got the Combat Patrol for Tyranids. Of course, um, you know, that includes uh, a lot of the models um, from Leviathan. It just doesn't include the um, Neuro Gaunts or the uh, Screamer Killer. Uh, you've got the data sheet cards and you've got the dice set. So you could pre-order all of those last weekend and I did go through them. Uh, the next day on the Sunday, we had a look at what you can pre-order today, which will be uh, a new book by Jude Reed uh, called Creed, Ashes of Cadia. And then a uh, very nice uh, collector's edition. Only 1,750 and they're all signed by uh, Jude as well. Uh, Valor... Valdor, Birth of the Imperium in paperback, finally. I'm not kidding, this book has been out for many, many years. It's been out so long that I've actually read it. <laughs> um, it it's a fantastic book, um, without going into spoilers, because I blimmin' hate spoilers. Uh, obviously, it's about Valdor, uh, and it's about, like, well, I say the Birth of the Imperium. There's a few of the very first Space Marines and Thunder Warriors in it. So if you've got any interest in like the starting blocks of the Emperor and, you know, uh, Custodian Guard and things like that and Primarchs, then yeah, it's um, Valdor is um, as close as we can get to a Primarch without actually being a Primarch. Then you've got Blood of the Emperor and then the Horus Heresy uh, collections as well as Warhammer Heroes Series 4. So they're doing Warhammer Heroes, but with Primaris, these look great. Um, it says, <laughs> uh, you won't be able to buy them directly from Games Workshop Web Store. Interesting. So they'll be available in retailers across America, Germany, Japan, China, and Australia, but not directly. Um, so that means you have to go into the stores, maybe. And if there are any third-party sellers, they might be selling them, but no UK. And um, I don't understand why why people get um, very very you know angry that that these things are not available in the UK. There's plenty of things that are available in the UK that other countries get, and that's not including Forge World being ridiculously priced in other countries. Um, so we'll get them. Uh, it's fine, um, and I don't think it'll be that long before we do. You got the White Dwarf, uh, issue 492. They're getting close to 500. They're probably going to do some kind of special edition for 500. 500's a lot. And then uh, Warhammer Plus, you've got Battle Report and Lawmasters. Then we had some articles uh, throughout the week, such as the Oric War Clans um, Vanguard set. A little look at them. I think they're just the minis from the... Um, starter set oh, oh with a uh with an actual um range weapon as well the beast skewer killbow uh you've got armies and parade 2023 you've got bad altitude how aircraft work in legionis uh in legions uh, imperialis at first i thought we were getting a plastic siphon fingers crossed still white dwarf uh, issue 492 You've got a bunk access granted. Uh, you've got a look at the new Terminators. Tale of Four Warlords. It's been going on for years, hasn't it? Um, you've got the Rumor Engine. Lux Age of Sigma. You've got Touchline Tactics. How to get the most out of your Nurgle team. Cut your teeth uh, on the new Vampire Star Players. These look quite nice. Yeah, that looks very cool. Uh, you've got C-Codex Tyranids in action for the first time on the Battle Report. So if you're interested in Tyranids at all, this is worth a watch. 
and then a little bit of Lawmasters. Uh, watch and learn a closer look at the Stunning Death Watch army featured on Warhammer Plus. So this is the Death Guard army. Quite a big army. Very cool though. Look at that. Yeah, awesome. Uh, you've got Dawn of Fire roadmap. Uh, you've got 40 years uh, Warhammer. You've got Dawn of Fire roadmap. Saga continues with the Sea of Souls. So this is uh, the next instalment in the books. Um, I think I've got Avenging Sun. And I think I read it. I can't remember. Uh, Middle Earth faction focus. Moria. Moria. The Mines of Moria. You've got Meta Watch. Um, so. You've got Balanced Data Slate. Balanced Data Slates. Munitorium Field manual, manual. And the Rules Commentary. And then Horus Heresy Thursday. We had a look at the new cash grab. I mean. Um, uh, extra book that we'll probably have uh, one data sheet in it. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll, of course we'll definitely have Fulgrim transfigured uh, and the that cover art does look very nice. Um, but it says uh, four old favourites have been revamped for the latest edition, including a new scenario. Oh, one new scenario. Um, so, yeah, 600 points for him. Yeah, Wrathful Blows. Ooh, a murderous strike. Very nice. Um, yeah, it says you also find special squads for Night Lords, Iron Warriors, World Eaters, Ultramarines and Salamanders. Odd choice. A very, very odd choice of legions there and you've got new rules for salamanders sanctifier squads yeah this is what i i wanted them to avoid by by having horus heresy in plastic and mass market um they're they're trying to get back into the whole um unit specific uh niche uh squads and things like that and and they can't do that anymore you just can't do that games workshop you 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 now when you made that decision to go sort of full plastic full mass market you now have to release bigger books with all of the rules in all the rules for free um doing it this this way piecemeal is the word i was looking for um fragments things it pushes people to have to buy these extra volumes um just to get rules for their you know sanctifier squads it's no you, you now is the time you've got 40k in digital you've got um age of sigma in digital you now need to put horus heresy in, uh, in digital you you need to release these rules here in digital um books are great when when they have all the rules in such as the um loyalist one and the mechanicum one you know with all the titans and things uh but trying to shoehorn the like volume one you just know there's going to be many volumes and they're not although this has a picture of fulgrim it's not kind of focused on uh emperor's children as you can see it's being focused on you know three uh of the heretic legions and two of the loyalist ones it, it's really odd their focus with this um who is it for as well i i don't really know maybe anybody that plays a lot of horus heresy that wants that one extra scenario and that wants um fulgrim's rules uh you know in in paper but it that's a really odd thing for them to do um warhammer 40,000 uh, app update how battleforge works or even hey how about this or even uh why don't they just change gear um completely with um 
uh, that book, well, with Fulgrim specifically, and just have a nice looking kind of card or data sheet or something, have his rules in with that box, because you know that that model is going to be north of £100. It's going to be, I'll probably say 120 probably more. Um, we'll see. But yeah, that, that would be interesting if they went that route. Um, you've got Technicolor Tyranids. A little look at uh, some uh, different colours that they've gone for. That's an interesting um, take. Uh, you've got Dawnbringer Chronicles Part 7, Baymat's Avenger. So a little uh, story there. And then starting a Tyranid's Army. Everything you need to know. This is well timed, you know, because the release of the Tyranids is today. So. Um, you know, you might want to read or watch this while you're uh, waiting for your new minis to, to arrive. Or maybe you've had your minis for a good couple of months from the Leviathan box set. But uh, that's it for the news um, for this week uh, from the Warhammer community website. Uh, let's go on over to Forge World right here, where they are advertising the um, Arvis uh, lighter still. If we click on New. Uh, there's nothing to pre-order, so there's no pre-orders uh, this week. But if we click on new releases, um, yeah, you've got the Imperial Fist Legion Tartarus Praetor, £32.50 for the revamped one, £27.50 for the Loyalist, Loyalist Champion console. That's not too bad, but the reason why we're saying it's not too bad is because of the price increase for all the you know single plastic minis. Um, and then you've got the Bar Rock Vomit Flesh, and then now you've got the Arvis Lighter. They've worked magic behind the scenes and they've managed to get more in stock. So, yeah, um, you can pick one up I, again. It's great in a way that they've got so few releases because it means they can pull more resources into uh, making more of these uh, uh, molds um, for them. So, yeah, if you missed out like a week ago or so, you can now still um, still add one. So that's good. And uh, I think you get free shipping as well because it's £85. That's it from Forge World, so no pre-orders from Forge World. So let's uh, go on over to Games Workshop and have a look at their uh, pre-orders. Okay, so here we are on Games Workshop's uh, web store. Um, they haven't changed it from last week, it seems. It looks like uh, there's a big push for Tyranids still uh, from last week, and obviously they you know, release uh, today. So if we click on uh, New and Exclusive, and we go to Pre-orders, and we view all... Yeah, there's some kind of spillover from Tyranids from last week. Uh, of course, uh, we had the Word Bearers box set collection last week as well. Combat Patrol for Tyranids. The Norn Emissary, which is out of stock. So is the um, Collector's Edition for Codex Tyranids. So I guess £60 is still acceptable um, because it's um, still getting sold out. Uh, Creed Ashes of Cadia Special Edition. So this is a new um, pre-order for today. Normally these are about £40, sometimes 45 but this is £45. Um, I'm recording this at about 10 o'clock, so it's still in stock. Looks nice, looks like a, a beefy, uh, thick book. Be interesting um, to get people's thoughts on that. Uh, you've got the Death Leaper, uh, Codex Tyranids, Gene Stealers. They are all last week. Uh, the Biovore is out of stock, so I guess the Emissary and the Biovore, very popular. Uh, the Lictor still in stock, so the Hormagaunt, so the Termagants, uh, so is the Neurolictor. Um, the datasheet cards are still available. Rose and Darkness uh, is no longer available last, from last week. The dice set for Tyranids was last week, but then these are the new um, books. So you've got uh, Creed Ashes of Cadia. So I do like it when Games Workshop uh, choose to release the, I say, standard edition, you know, the hardback along with the special edition. And actually, £18 isn't too bad, you know, at least it's not 20 I'd rather it be kind of 18 or, well, I'd rather it be about £12 to be fair. But um, yeah, 18 quid uh, for uh, Creed Ashes of Cadia. You've got Blackstone Fortress Omnibus. Now, this is a very thick book, uh, you know, £15. This is in paperback. Uh, written by a whole host of uh, authors. You got Valdor Birth of the Imperium, eight pounds. It's in paperback. I think I got it for thirteen, so I paid six pounds more for it to be in uh, hardback. 
It is a very short book, though. Uh, very short. Uh, White Dwarf, uh, issue 492 as well. That's up for pre-order. Um, so I think that's coming out next week. Um, and that's it. So this weekend, very sparse. See what I mean um, about them staggering the releases? They could have easily, easily have released Tyranids over these three weeks. So the week before last week, last week, and then this weekend. Even if it was over three weeks instead of um, just the one um that they could have done that because this week it's just books um what do you guys think are you uh, building up your tyranids while watching this have you pre-ordered any of the books please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments as always it'd be great to hear from you thank you for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects